Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm already looking super freaking snatched. Um, these are the looks that I die for. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you don't do any bright looks anymore. And, and, and it all depends on the palette. If I don't have no bright colors, then what am I going to do? <laughs> um, but if you do want to figure out how I got this look and what palette I use, if you didn't read the um, description, <laughs> um, keep on watching and let's get started. So you already know where we are in the video. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So it is another palette review. I <laughs> I would say I'm biased um, when it comes to ABH, which is um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. But just to let you know, it's just kind of like, honey, I love them. I love them. I have all of their palettes, um, glow kits eyebrow gels I love ABH but if the palette is not good I will still definitely let you guys know um, I did uh, open this up on my Instagram which is at forever trap um, I did not do any swatches or anything like that because as I said previously I'm not really big on doing hand swatches because it looks different when it gets on your eyes speaking of my eyes my eyes are already primed with this Mac paint pot Y'all, this was $22. $22. This was $25. $22, the, I Listen. So this is the palette. Which is stunning. We have a total of two, four, let me see, two, four, six metallics. And then you have the seven mattes, which look identical to most of the palettes, except for maybe the opposite palettes will have, you know, more shares, more mattes, but it's still the same format overall. And I can say that all the packaging is the same, so they are true to what they know. So they're the same size and everything. Every palette has the same imageries on the back where you know exactly what you're dealing with. Um, it even has the canister on the back as well, which is, this one is 18 months, which I wanna say this is for all of them. Um, so we will jump right in, but I am gonna spit a couple of facts about the palette really quick. So just give me one second. Alrighty, so I do have up everything that I need for the fact. So this, um, launch it came out with several things so the palette was one it also came with a setting spray three loose highlighters and it also had the eyebrow gel um, so the palette the palette is $45 which is normal because all of the palettes are around $45 um, the eyebrow gel again which I do not have that is $18 the loose highlighters $25 a piece honey that is steep. Um, and then you had the Dewy Setting Spray, which everybody was raving over because Anastasia never did anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I can definitely tell that they're expanding and they're trying to do what they do. Um, the Dewy Setting Spray was $26, which is not bad for a setting spray, especially if it's gonna do the job. Now, on my Instagram, I did actually try out the setting spray. That is an item that I do have. Um, and I actually wore it for about 10 hours and it was bomb, honey. It was bomb. Um, I loved it. But I'll show you the packaging and everything. Just to let you know exactly, you know. But was it worth it? It was worth it. Um, now, dun dun dun. The setting spray, it is temporarily out of stock. It has been out. So, alrighty. I know I said we're gonna jump in three times, but I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, so the first color that I want to use on the palette is probably going to be Monte Carlo, which is this color here. Like this pinky color, there it is, Ooh. And I'm just gonna use that as my first transition shade. Again, this is my first time using this paint pot, so we're gonna see if this is actually worth the money. Again, this was $22 at retail before taxes. So honey, you need to perform. But I do see a lot of people use this and they love it, so we shall see. So this 
pink color it actually looks amazing um I feel like you can't really see it because my lighting is a little bright but you can see that it's very pink it looks very bomb uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next color or not color excuse me the next side Alrighty, so I do have the first color on and it looks super freaking bomb. And I'm not sure why it's not picking up these colors. Maybe I should put it up a little bit so you can kind of see. Okay, boom. Um, so if you can look through here, you can't see like the little pot stuff is kind of still showing, but hey, it is picking up the colors very well. This brush is performing very well, and that color did as well. So the next color I'm gonna go in with is the color mm, Bahamas. It's a very, very bright pink shade, which is here. So let's see what we can do. So we have the second color on, and this ish is popping, okay? This looks very nice. It's going on seamlessly. This is almost another, ABH never disappoints, okay? I just, I've never had a bad palette from them, ever. But the next color I'm gonna go in with is this purple shade here. Boop. And, our third color on already and baby it's looking so cute already um so again we've already used three shades you can already tell that they're blending so good this eye needs to be blended out a tiny bit more which I will do but you have minimal to no fallout and you know me I can do a whole look with one brush um, so I have, I've been just using this one brush, but I will clean it off now because I am gonna dip into a color that is a tiny bit different. I am going to maybe do, maybe like almost like an ombre type of thing. That way we can use more colors. So I wanna maybe do like seashells and inheritance together. And then maybe even a little bit of the color palm, like, you know, on the out, outer corners. I was about to say outskirts. <laughs> Um, alrighty, so I'm back. I do have my eyelids cut for the color. So before I actually throw those colors on, which again was the blue shade seashells and inheritance. I did not add the color palm yet, which is the more um, browner color that I was gonna put on the outside. I didn't do any of that yet. Um, I had to actually cut off a light because it was really, really bright and you really couldn't see the colors for real. So now you can kind of see that it really blended out really, really good. You didn't lose the pink, you're seeing the purple dominating, and I do have something very weird going on on this eye. I'm not sure if it's a shadow or um, this paint pot situation, but it's like a thick purple patch there. Um, but when in doubt, I wanted to speak a little bit about this paint pot, um, because you will watch videos and you'll be like, oh my God, I need this, oh my God, I need that. This is not a necessity. This did not work. Um, again, for all over my eyelid, I feel like it did. But for $22, I want to do more than just put you on my eyelid, you know what I'm saying? And I know that this is what this is for, but eh, I just not super impressed with it. So um, I'll go ahead and start with those um, colors and I'll be right back and tell you how it all came out. Alrighty, so I did go ahead and finish off the look. Now, <laughs> this look is very out there. So I know a lot of people will be like, wow, that is, that's a lot going on. But honey, this is a statement look. This is one of them looks like what's really good, okay? Um, so out of this palette, I did end up using 10 out of the 14 shades. So I really did go in. 
um, the um, colors that were added, which I already went over one time, but I'll go over one more time. I ended up going in with the um, seashells, and I also went in with the color Inheritance, which was the blue and the gold color. Um, I also put the color Palm um, on the outer um, wings here. And then I ended up using more colors. I ended up using Sales, which is the bright white color, um, of course, at my waterline, as you can see. I ended up using the color Yacht as well um, here. And I also used the color Yacht to highlight my nose and also my cheeks and chin. Um, so Yacht is, that's almost a highlighter, honey, period. I'm very convinced that is this color right here. Boom. Um, and I also used Seaside that was under my eyebrow bone. And that's like more of like an icy blue color. It's not white, um, like traditional. So I'm super excited. I mean, this look came out stunning. And if you can replicate it or do anything like that, you can always tag me on Instagram, which is again, at Forever Trap. And then last but not least, we have the setting spray. So this is the box that it came in. Oop. And this is cruelty free, and again, it is still sold out, um, which I said earlier. It comes in this very, very pretty, uh, pretty, excuse me, um, finish here. Now, you are seeing that it looks like it has some crystals in it. It does not have any crystals in it. It does not have any gold specks in it. It is a very fancy bottle, um, which is bombshell. Now, a lot of people are having a lot of controversy just saying like, oh my God, this is the same bottle that they use for MAC, XXX, where you see you have like the turnstile. Uh, yep, there it is. See so you have the turnstile. And people are like, oh my God, it looks just like MAC, and, and honey, it's just a bottle. Relax yourself, okay? Okay. Um, so, of course you just click it this way, that way you can like spray it out. And it does smell very like vanilla-y, you know? I think it smells wonderful. I am just gonna throw my hair back really quick. And I am going to go ahead and spray my face really, really fast. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is a must have. This is a must have. The MAC Pink Pot, absolutely not. Um, no, because you can see that these colors went on stunning. The yellow and the blue, which I ended up doing with my Pro Concealer. So that is definitely not a must have. So before I go, um, we did make it to 100 subscribers, yay. Um, so it is gonna be a giveaway, which will be in a separate video. It'll be a nice little short video to just tell you exactly what you win and what you have to do to enter. Not to fear, it's completely free. You don't have to worry about no cash out, no this, no that. It will be any of that, everything is free. And two of the things I'm pretty sure you've already done. So it's only one thing that you're really gonna have to do, but you'll see later on in that video. Um, and of course, just in closing, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate I really appreciate it. And it just, I don't know, it just made me so happy. I've always wanted to do YouTube. And I always felt like a little bit nervous, like, oh my God, nobody's gonna watch or whatever, whatever, whatever. But just kind of like, it doesn't matter. You know, I mean, just do it because that's what you want to do. If people come and they watch, I mean, it just makes it that much better. Reaching 100 subscribers, it was a very big milestone to me. I mean, I just really appreciated it. And we did it all in one month. So I definitely do expect the channel to continue to grow as long as we're liking and sharing, of course. And make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel or you know anything like that. And depending on where you actually found the video, maybe you can leave it in a comment. Like, oh, I found you on Facebook. Oh, I found you on Twitter. Wherever you found me at, you can always leave that in the comment. My favorite place is Instagram. <laughs> so at Forever Trap is my Instagram, which you'll see that pop up a couple of different times in the video. Um, but, with that being said, this is it. I am super grateful. I mean, even that I have this opportunity to do things like this, um, that I have the funds to purchase things like this. Um, nobody's sending me anything. I'm purchasing this all through my own pockets. Um, I do work a full-time job and things of that nature. But again, enough about me. Thank you again so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe.